Uh, Kenny Wilson, I'm, I was in the Army uh, for uh, as a 19 Delta Cavalry Scout. So my name is Robert Garcia. Uh, I've been with the New Braunfels Fire Department for uh, 24 years. Uh, so I put in four good years uh, working in the Marines. My name is Robert Camarino. I'm the City Manager here at the City of New Braunfels. So I served in the U.S. Marine Corps and uh, served for three years. So my name is Jeff Satcher. I'm a firefighter paramedic with the City. I was in the United States Navy and I was a Master Arms Second Class Petty Officer, which is an E5. I am Kim Myers. And I was in the United States Air Force and I retired as a Senior Master Sergeant after 26 years, two months and three days. My name is uh, Eric Morris. I, I work for you know, New Braunfels Regional Airport. Uh, I was in the uh, <coughs> United States Air Force. Uh, I retired as a Master Sergeant. Uh, my name is uh, Nathan Deacons. So I was uh, in the United States Army for 10 years. Veterans Day is, a, is an accomplishment. I mean, nothing against the civilian world, but uh, it's a whole different world in the military versus the civilian sector. You, I'm not sure you really know what it means until you retire. Um, in the past 15, well, the last 12 to 15 years that I was in, it became more prevalent what the military does and who we are. Um, but once I retired and integrated into the civilian life, the civilian culture, you realize that most people don't have any idea what we do, what we're expected to do, and what we're expected to be. You know, it gives an opportunity to, um, to honor those that, that, that made a commitment to, to serve their country. And, and uh, it, it also gives me an opportunity to reflect on those people that I served with. Just really important to, to recognize all the veterans. Especially, you know, say thank you to the, the Vietnam guys because they didn't, they didn't get what they deserved back. I think about those that have gone before me uh, and have served and honoring them and then to, thinking about people today that serve now and then thinking about the future, the guys that are going to be serving and the guys and gals that are going to be serving down the road. Uh, when I think of Veterans Day, I think of uh, everyone else who probably did a lot, lot more than me. That's, that's what I think. The real homage and tip of the hat goes to... Uh, those guys who are still alive from uh, World War II, Korea, Vietnam. So I think it's a, it's a wonderful day to tip the hat to all those guys, and I'm just happy to be a small part of that. The military service is probably one of the best decisions I made. The overall uh, leadership skills that it taught me were, were second to none. It helped to show me um, or help prepare me for working with a team and with a team with a common set of goals and, and bringing that team together to be able to address whatever issue you face. Flexibility, the ability to just switch when you need to and how that prepares me here is I see a lot of people getting stuck into we were supposed to do this and they can't get past it. So you, you kind of come in prepared yet a bit, you have the uh, backup plans. I think the military just uh, drove home the fact that I want to I want to serve you know serve either my country or my community. We are an organization of 800 plus staff members that are dedicated to serving this community, and and I'm just I'm so blessed to be able to work with such a with such a great group of people that are dedicated to serve. I think that. Not only should the city of New Braunfels, but every employer uh, ought, to, uh, ought to have veterans within their organization because of the value that they bring to, to the organization, because of the dedication, the passion, the commitment that they can bring to an organization. And so having veterans in, in different areas of our, uh, of our organization uh, only makes us better.